Hey guys, this is Gaston from Connecting Tennis. How are you again? First of all, I want to thank again always all the time for the support, all the, the views in the video, the sharings and, and the comments. Uh, I actually love how you guys are uh, interacting with all that. There were a lot of comments of people saying that I look like Djokovic and that my forehand in the video of the forehand uh, looks like Djokovic. Well, thanks for that. I take the, uh, the compliment. I wish I had a Novak Djokovic forehand. But okay, if you guys think it looks like it, all right, I'll take it. Uh, today what we're gonna be doing is actually a two-handed backhand, okay? I'm gonna be explaining you, I'm gonna be showing you the things that you need to, to have in mind when you're trying to learn a two-handed backhand. So, and the way I like to teach it, okay, is the easiest way to then be able to control your hands here. Right hand, if you're a righty like I am, continental grip, remember, as I show in the video with, in the service slice, okay? You see my finger, I don't have my racket here, I have it there in the edge. You have a free wrist over here. The second hand, okay, the lefty. You open here, you meet the racket in the middle and you close. This is gonna allow you to get balls in all the heights, okay, from low balls, high balls, okay, balls in the, in the height of the hips. So with this grip and having this in mind, remember when we talk about the forehand, we we're talking the first thing you do is this rotation over here with the back and it's exactly the same okay i said that you guys have to take over here like if you were grabbing from behind so here is the same when the ball is coming to you with the grip here okay the first thing you do is gonna turn 45 degrees okay and try to reach something behind you see that i'm not turning my legs like this or my hips i'm turning my my shoulders okay somebody that i love who this thing who does this is uh Murray. i think he's probably one of the best players that, that shows this a lot of videos of him training in slow motion where he, the first thing he does is just a split and the turning of the shoulder. So let's go step by step. We have the grip, okay? When the ball is coming, you're gonna start to turn your shoulders, turn 45 degrees, the right leg, okay? And you're gonna put the other leg in front. Now, very important here, I see a lot of people making the common mistake when they put the leg in front, they put it like this. What's the problem here? When you put your leg like this, okay, perpendicular to the baseline, when you try to rotate, this is a stopping me, you see? You can't go over this. So very important, guys, and a it's a little detail that's gonna make a difference. When you put the leg, put in 45 degrees, this is gonna allow you to what? Open your hips all the way, hit the ball in front, and rotate over it, okay? If you have it like this, it's gonna be very hard and you're gonna end up falling. So again, from here, you turn this leg, put this one in front. You see that as, as I'm turning, I'm putting my, my shoulder in. This is gonna show me, okay, my chin with, with my shoulder and the racket behind. Some people like to take it all the way up here. Some people go straight down, which I don't like because you lose, okay, the, the, the timing in the point of impact. So with the ball from here, turning racket back, okay. As you start to come up, you start to, to put the leg in the, the weight in the right leg start to drop the racket okay rotating with the hips here the ball has to hit in front of you okay right in front of your leg arm extended push all the way forward okay and then start to close with this leg with the arm and when you start to close is when you fall and you do the finish i don't want to uh, bore you guys talking 10 minutes on all the techniques so i'm gonna put two or three balls in slow motion showing all this movement again here leg 45 bringing the racket up putting the the weight of the of the body in the right leg taking the racket dropping coming here in front of you and finishing all the way and then i'm gonna put again a real drill i will be doing and showing you for you guys on a couple of balls not in slow motion okay in normal speed so you guys can see how i hit the ball how i fall how I recover to the middle, how I prepare again, put the leg and recover to the middle. So let's see how that looks. Okay, so there you could see how I hit the ball and I did it when I fall. I mark and I exaggerate this here falling. It's very important guys, when you, especially when you're running 
more than two or three steps. If you run and you hit the ball like this, then think on all the steps that you have to do to recover the court. So very important that I mark here, falling, and this is gonna make you ready, okay, for the next wall, to go to our side, to run forward, okay, so I mark that falling. I remember when I was learning it, when I was 13 or 14, my coach used to get crazy because I was lazy and I never do this falling and I was trying to hit there with the hands and coming back. So please, with the time I understood and I don't want you guys to make the same mistake, okay? Hitting, falling, the footwork is the key, okay? I know if you have a good hand, you're gonna trust in your hands to play, but footwork is key, okay? Falling, hitting, and falling. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of faults in a slow motion so you guys can see every single detail. My footwork, taking the racket back, hitting in front. Okay, you're gonna see the racket all the way there in front, finishing and falling. Okay guys, so there you could see, okay, in a fast motion, a slow motion, all the details, the footwork, taking the racket back, okay, putting the, the shoulder in and everything. So let's practice it, okay, whenever you have the racket before going to the court, you can practice this rotation here. You can practice also the power, okay, in your shot with a medicine ball, okay, doing the same motion, grabbing the ball, rotating, throwing it and finishing, okay. That is gonna give you good strength in the hips, okay? It's gonna help you with the footwork. And, and those are very, very good exercises that are, are gonna give you the balance that you need. Remember, with all the core and everything. Um, so uh, if you guys like it, you're enjoying the videos and, and all the info that I'm giving you, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment it, give me, give me your thoughts. I always like to, to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, there was also people asking for some videos with volleys and approach shows coming to the net. So we're gonna be uh, working on those things to, to give you guys uh, those videos and that information. Uh, thank you once again for watching and I'll see you next time.